<laughs> and knock off the drums a second. Wait a second. You know, I'm I'm going to put this little baby out here, right? Because my guest thinks breathing secondhand smoke is going to kill him. All right. Oh, now, I'll tell you what. If a laboratory rat smokes enough cigars, it'll start looking like uh, Groucho Marx. But in deference to Mr. Banzai's stupidity, uh, I have chosen not to smoke tonight. As long as we have a government that says smoking is addictive and causes cancer on one hand, collects $28 billion in taxes with the other hand, I say we got a government that's blowing smoke up the ass of the American people. Smokers' rights, kiss my butt, government. Coming up next, let's go. Professor, how are you, sir? I'm happy to be here again. Are you happy to be here? I understand you tried to quit and didn't make it. Hope maybe we can convince you tonight to try yeah, again. I said I harder. was going to. I'm going to quit next Thursday. Okay, right next on. Thursday. But tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Now, well, let me introduce some of the folks we got here with us tonight, gang. We got uh, John Benza, professor of law and legal legal activism. At George Washington University, nation's capital, right, sir? Nation's capital. Are you guys Disneyland on the Potomac. All uh, right, sir. You also head an organization of some sort. I'm isn't? also executive director of Action on Smoking and Health, the people who ban smoking on the flights two hours or less. The I mean, you're just coming up and back. Uh, now that's really stupid. Two hours or less, right? Ban smoking. Think of this: smoking's bad for you. So, if you're only flying two hours, no one gets to smoke. But if you're flying five or six. Everyone can smoke, and then you can really suck it in, huh? That's the legal system for you, gang. Let me introduce to you uh, Kay uh, Col... Is that Colmia? Colmia. Colmia. Mr. Colmia is president of the Great American Smokers Club. I love you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kay. Okay. Recent anti-smoking legislation has prohibited smoking from airplanes, restaurants, uh, in my men's room here. Who cares, you know? Everywhere in between. Does this mean that the right of an individual is finally uh, just totally disappearing, at least where it's uh, right to smoke? I feel it's uh, taking all your rights away from you. It's the start of something new. Uh, next, after they uh, ban smoking, they're going to say, well, uh, no gays can get on an airplane because you'll get AIDS. Uh, no black people can get on an airplane because their head might shine. No, They can make a rule like this. Well, and I'm examining this though. audience to make sure you don't get a bullet in the back of your head. <laughs> that last one, baby. It, I think there might be even some white people who take offense to that kind of stupid but, remark. But uh, the problem with this law, law like this, they didn't even vote on this in Congress. What they did, they slipped this into the budget, and the president signed it, and then they said, we passed it in Congress. This wasn't even voted on in Congress. Mort, well, you got to understand this. He's telling us a law went through Congress You've and nobody voted here on it. who is supposed to be a He's clerk crazy. of the court. Who's of supposed course to have the justice Congress wrote on. And what he does, he puts a law in there, or he and his friends, and he passed it through Congress without anybody voting on it. No one voted on this? No, no. The president signed it, it became law. It's the Nobody only one in the world that ever Hell went through truth. without Congress voting. Nobody of course he's an it. idiot. Nobody voted on it. It no, passed the House 211 to 208. Did someone budget. vote on it? It passed 211 to 207. Of course. Who voted on it? Who voted in the House, it was 211 to 207. In the Senate, it was 63 to whatever it was. Of course it was voted on. It was on the budget. I agree. The Lord thinks. All right. Hey, we got someone up there. Introduce it's yourself. Live. Huh? I'm, I'm Dr. Douglas Chester. Are you alive? I mean, hell, hell you know. <laughs> is your mic alive? Is the mic live? Yeah, there we go. I'm You're on. Dr. Douglas Chester. I'm president of New Jersey Gas. And I think Smoking the law... Smoking harms non-smokers, too. Absolutely. And I think the law doesn't even go far enough, and it should have been at least two and a half hours, which would have protected us from Newark down to Florida. And it should be two and a half hours... A lot of us can't afford to go to Florida. Two and a half hours can. of... The first two and a half hours of every flight, not just the two hours on two-hour flights, should be all of them. Well, and on the flights that are longer than I two mean, and a half hours, where smoking would be permitted, then it should be every other flight should have a uh, smoking. Any cycle. studies, Kay, on uh, what happens to people when they're in a room with smoke? 
Well, we, uh, I mean, we hired part two. Of UK we, that I'm no, I love it. It'll Come bother on. me quite a bit. Uh, and I'd really appreciate it if you didn't smoke. Kiss my ass. We are, we, we understood. We understood that you had promised not to smoke on this program. Is that what you understood? Did you speak yes. to me, sweetie? We spoke Did you to speak producer. to me? Did you speak to me? We couldn't get Nobody to Nobody speaks to me or speaks <laughs> for me. Well, that's why I'm being polite and holding it over here. Holding I'm it being over polite. there does I'm no keeping... good. It's gas. I'm holding it, it over here. It spreads 100% through the air. No, it doesn't. It's You're... You're it's such a liar. No, I'm I would liar. have to stand All here gas. with every person in the room smoking All for 216 gas. hours before you inhale the equivalent of one cigarette. You I phony. Didn't, I didn't say that. Now, now, just a second. Don't try to... Don't try to put words in my mouth. I didn't say I was going to... I didn't say I was going to put... I didn't say I was going to put... I didn't say anything about smoke, uh, breathing one cigarette's worth. I just said that the gas spreads 100% because air is a gas. You come so over here. Right? You probably have beans through. tonight. That gas will kill me. No, too. that's that's uh, a little different gas. Not only see this guy's a nice, this guy's listen, a really intelligent only is guy. It I'll put it out the for air, him. Well, but the residue that stays here has all sorts of poisons in it, which developed, which caused disease. What do you think you get when you walk the streets of New York, Los Angeles, Detroit, Chicago? Nothing you think like you're getting the benzene nothing, content huh? in a smoker's nothing. house. Strap a bus to your face. Thirty pal. to fifty percent. <laughs> Thirty to fifty percent more benzene. 30 to 50 percent more benzene is found in smokers' homes than non-smokers' homes, and that parallels the, the survey amount come of from? leukemia given to children. I'd be damned if I know, but here's, you know, here's what you know, I got to tell, tell you. Here's what I got to tell you. Professor, here's what I got to tell you. Here's what I got to tell you. Where do you get your Uncle George, you're watching tonight, you're 94. Put out those two packs of camels you smoke every night. They'll kill you. All right, that's my Uncle George. Grandpa, I know you're dead. You died at 101 with a Philip Morris in your hand, all right? You could have gone into There's 130 if you hadn't smoked. Don't you guys are ass. Huh? So, so let me ask the professor a question. He has some brains. Surgeon General recently classified nicotine as an addictive substance. I have no doubt that it is an addictive substance. The government has all kinds of uh, methadone treatment for drug addicts. Why aren't you guys working on... Uh, to help us smokers with something like uh, methadone, something for nicotine. Mort, for years, Ash has been doing exactly that. We help to get smoking, the money you spend for smoking withdrawal clinic tax deductible. We've been fighting for more money because the cost of smoking to the American public is somewhere between 50 and 100 billion dollars a year. And it makes sense since eight or nine out of every 10 smokers like yourself would like to quit to put some real money into developing ways to help them do it we ought to have a substitute like nicodone. So I put it to a computer. I've been smoking for 40 years. Averaged, I'll say I averaged three packs over that 40 mm -hmm. years. I know what the tax is based on the scale that I had going all the way back. If I compound that tax with interest over the 40 years I've been smoking, the government has received from me $359,000, all right? That's what I'm getting back. That's what I should get back. That's the value that they've gotten. Not I've, actually, about... I've actually paid $62,000. Okay, but that is about half of what it will cost if you are one, uh, one of the one in three smokers who comes down with lung cancer and the government under one program or another has to pay no, for it. Now, wait Show me wrong. that those people came down from lung cancer from smoking. From all, the people, from all the doctors, Professor, you damn right I doubt it. You doubt you that smoking damn right. causes lung Read cancer? Read my lips, pal. You <laughs> bet I doubt it. Of the number, Lord, of the number it's of lung, difficult to believe that anybody could be lung, so stupid today. But of the number of lung cancer cases, of the number of lung cancer yeah. cases reported in this country, yeah. sixty percent of those lung cancer cases are from smokers. All right, no, ninety percent. Sixty percent. Where are you getting Who your figures? Who says it's from right. smoking? Where are you, you getting your figures from? I got the two non-smokers saying eighty-five yeah. and ninety. All right, between eighty-five and ninety percent. Nicotine addiction report, right? a report of I'll the Surgeon General. <clears throat> Let me see this fat slob, will you? Bring him up here. Bring the uh, General Coop. You know me, pal. We worked in the Right to Life movement. And drug-taking behavior is driven by strong, often irresistible urges, and can persist despite a desire to quit 
or even repeated attempts to quit. All right, no doubt about that. I've tried to quit. I, a lot of smokers have tried to quit, haven't succeeded. I will succeed next Thursday, all right? Well, why are you trying I'm giving to quit it up. If you don't think it hurts you? Because I just don't want to do it anymore. I've psyched myself out by watching this idiot say that it's as dangerous, it's as dangerous and addictive as heroin. Give you some interesting information, all right? To be exposed to the equivalent of one cigarette, a person must spend 264 consecutive hours, one full day, 11 full days, in an office building. That's number one. Or 398 consecutive hours, that's 16 and a half full days, in a restaurant. Or, yeah. 224 consecutive hours, nine and a third full days in the non-smoking section of a commercial Lord, what's airline. What's the source of that nonsense? Is that the tobacco industry study? This is reported uh, by the tobacco industry study. International Technology Corporation of Torrance, California, airline study conducted by who? 727 and 737 commercial airlines. By who? What difference does it make? Well, because when they... It's, well, as, has it's as partial an organization as yours is. But more, yours we, is impartial. We don't know. We don't impartial. We don't do the study. We didn't do the study either. It's right. Every done. time we come up with a study, it's wrong. This, I report what? from the National Academy of Sciences. This is what? done by the International Technology Corporation. And Walker, uh, was it or was it not funded by the tobacco industry? Who cares if it's funded by the tobacco industry? You use our money they to do your study. They pay for their own study. I mean, this guy is here because he makes a living selling tobacco. He won't even accept that smoking hurts smokers. Ask him, does smoking cause lung yeah, do cancer in smokers? Do smoking causes cancer in smokers? I don't know if it does or, or not. He I, don't, know. I don't pretend. How could you study all the scientific knowledge and not guy. even come to the conclusion? That's absurd. I don't think it is. How many people are going to take it? Are you safe? No, no. The ones with this information. They use the government's money that pay taxes to advertise it causes something. Let me ask you something, Professor. You're a professor. Are you a tenured professor at George Washington? I'm a tenured Washington? professor, yeah. What kind of money can a professor make? Oh, uh, 30000 50000 a year. Thirty or 50000 That's the range, yeah. All right, so you're making pretty good bucks, all right? And I imagine you get some of that money uh, because you're in the anti-smoking business. What's and, your point, uh, Mort? You're doing studies. You're you talking about these guys. You for a year? You're talking about these guys making money, pal, all right? Let me ask you, from your organization against smoking, do you indeed, and are you indeed a director and the only person in that organization who makes money $73,750 a year, sir? No, that's not true. That's not true. Why did you give this, then, to Uncle Sam on your IRS report from 1983? <laughs> Professor, can't you get it through your filter tip brain? There is no link between lung cancer and someone else smoking in a room. Where I did mean, you get your science the, degree from, Mort? I don't have what a science Dr. degree Cracker other than a political keep science Keep coming degree. up with these figures and statistics. Where do they come from? I'll tell you where Where do yours from. come from, ass? The National... <laughs> Let's list it. The National Academy of Sciences. The World Health Organization. The British I Medical Association. I trust the World Health Organization. The American Cancer Society. The American Medical Association. The American, the American Public Society, Health Association. Which has taken $300 billion dollars from Americans to keep themselves going and never discover a cure for cancer. And more Amazing. 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 Uh, and you and Mr. Tobacco Man have already done such a lot of the company taken. Well, that may right. be. It said, said it may be dangerous to your health. Well, you mean, diagnose your own ailments, Mort. You do your own brain surgery. Fortunately, that's fortunately I don't get sick, except when I, I meet people like you. I asked who did like your you. brain surgery. There is a problem. You know, Mort. I don't get sick. If you're doing your own, that's not very lucky. Mort, how well were you? For a heavy smoker, I've missed one day of work in 12 years. And that was when I had a bad hangover. Go ahead. The, the children of this country are being duped into thinking that smoking is a healthy, happy, sexually uh, great, fun I don't know, experience. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they're being duped into that. I don't think that. I don't think that. I don't think, that. I think, I think, so. I think smoking's is lousy. Out, aimed at children, and children are starting at 9 and 10 years old. Children are starting at nine Listen, and ten years old. Listen, how young were you? The problem is, though, how, doctor. Well, how old were you? We I was can't 12. run the morals of the world. Let the family life well. teach the children not to I was to 12 smoke. years old. But we've got to start. I was 15 when I started sex. I should have gotten going on that earlier, maybe. <laughs> <laughs>
he said the medical evidence was clear that she was being harmed by secondhand smoke. So look, we got people like this addict who want to smoke and people who want to be healthy. Hey, excuse me, Madam. And they can't me, both Madame. be in the I, same your, place. They can't both be health, in the same place. Is your issue health? Stand out here and let us see how healthy you are. So. <laughs> Care about your own damn health. You see, what I tipped that let off? Me you called her an addict. You called her an addict without admitting that you're a food addict. Let me answer. You can't get your hand out of a cookie jar. Let me answer. Come on, let me respond. Go ahead. I didn't say I was perfect. I said it's only fair. Shut up. I said it's only fair. I said it's only fair that those of us who have defects keep them to ourselves. We don't impose them on others. Yeah, see, her this fact is not doesn't directly affect it you unless she sits on you. It affects our health insurance. No, your smoking affects everybody's health insurance. And so does yes. fat affect people's health Absolutely. Yeah. And so and does premature grain. But you, you organization here that he wants to be respectable. Oh. I said I feel sorry for you by being neglected by being replaced by a cigarette. Whoa. I, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. My well, wife wants, says the same thing. He wants to make My this wife a, says I'm hung like a cigarette. He wants to make this. But then again, you probably knew that, sir. You have a tape measure on your tongue. 100 millimeters. He wants to make this organization look respectable. And I mean, he's going saying things like that. It, it makes non-smokers look Hey, bad, buddy, wait a minute. Mort goes after every guest who comes on the show. That's show. his privilege, but he's got to expect to get returned sometime. Absolutely. And I think he takes it like a man. Absolutely. I congratulate him for that. If he's going to dig it out, he's going to have to take it, too. No doubt about it. Go ahead, pal. I'm a lot smoking, Mort, but both my parents smoked. And I'll tell you, I'm healthy as a horse. And let him smoke. The only thing I have to say is, you say secondhand smoke is dangerous, but when you find five guys out of nine from Metro North taking drugs that caused a major accident, I think you better go after drugs first before smoking. I am. Read the paper. Go ahead, man. I'm a smoker myself, and I agree that she should be able to smoke, and everyone should, but as a non-smoker, I have my right not to... You're to, absolutely right. No, smell it. Absolutely. 